Here, I will demonstrate how to interactively explore single cell expression data with Loop Browser. Loop Browser is a desktop application developed by 10x Genomics. It can be used to interactively visualize and analyze data from different tax solutions. These are the different tax data types that can be used with Loop Browser. What you will need are two things. First is to download and install Loop Browser. This link will take you to the Loop Browser downloading page. Click Downloads. Fill the form here. You can have Loop Browser and install it. Second, you will need a loop file. A loop file will be generated after running Cell Ranger on 10x dataset. If you have multiple datasets, you can aggregate them into one by running Cell Ranger aggregation function. Most people do not use a default analysis from Cell Ranger. They will instead Use a cell gene count matrix generated from Cell Ranger with other tools like SLAT. You can integrate information from these analyses with the default loop file. Next, I will go over with you a single cell gene expression data we generated and analyzed with SLAT. Clicking a loop file, it will open automatically with the loop browser. This is what you will see after the loop file is full open. In the middle is the cell cluster part from the default cell ranger analysis. On the left is the toolbox panel. On the top middle is a mouse select. So with this, you can move your plots left, right, up, and down. Here is the view selection. Use this, you can select what you want to view, the Tisney plot from your range analysis, or you map plot from your own analysis. On the right, it's a mode select and mode panel. In the mode select, Drop down, you can select categories, gene expression, feature expression, filters, and VDJ chronotypes. At the bottom is the gene panel, which I will not cover here. Now let's go back to the view select. Since our analysis is done with thread, so we want to show the you map from thread analysis. So you can click three dot here, then choose import your cell projection from thread analysis. After importing is done, it will appear in this drop down. This is the one I uploaded beforehand. Click. This is a UG map generated from our thread analysis, but the cell cluster colors are still the cell ranger cluster color. We need to change that. Go to the category, click the three dots, and then import the cell cluster information from your thread analysis. So again, I uploaded this beforehand. So it appeared in this drop down as thread cluster. Clos click this one. So this is the cl clusters we generated from our thread analysis. You can see the list of the cluster here. So we have already annotated these clusters, but we will see after for each cluster, you can see the total number of cells in that cluster. If you move your mouse over each cluster, you will also see 
the percentage of cells in that cluster. Click the three dots after each cluster. You can change the cluster name. And also change the color of each cluster. Now let's go back to So this is the cell cluster information. From this category, we can import information other than cluster. Let's see if you want to import the sample condition information, you can do the same. Or oh, in this data set, we have 20 samples included. So we can import that information too. So here are the information we imported. Click sample. You can see we have all the samples lists here and the clusters distributed across different samples. And also we have the sample condition here, the classification. We have three different conditions. Then you can see the different clusters, cell clusters distributed across different conditions. Most of our users are more interested in specific gene expression. So let's go back to the mode select and choose gene feature expression. So you can type your interest gene name here. Here we already listed a number of genes. Click one on one. You can see this gene is highly expressed in this cluster of cells. And this one, again, this gene is highly expressed in the same cluster of cells. We know these genes are associated with astrocytes. So we can go back to the clusters and annotate these clusters as astrocytes. So you may want to ask, this is the gene expression in individual cell clusters. Can we check a gene expression on different sample conditions? Yes. So let's go to the tools box panel, click this window, and then choose the conditions you want. So let's choose the classification. Now you can see, so under different conditions, what are the cell populations, and you can also check different gene expression on different conditions. So this is cool. You may want to see, oh, this is very interesting. I want to see this. Can I do that? Yes. So click this camera and you can export which plot you are interested in. So I will stop here. Uh, there are a lot of other functions that I do not cover here. You can go to the 10x genomics tutorial page to learn more.